Before we got word of that train derailment out in Fredericksburg, our team was looking into a homicide investigation in Fairfax County where the body of a man was found. This is video earlier of that scene. No doubt it has been a busy night here for the team at 11, but our team is all over it. Our Alexis Wainwright has more on the investigation and reaction from neighbors. Police are still not sharing the age or any identifying information about the body that was found in this area. As authorities still try to figure out what happened here, we are hearing from people who live nearby. It's kind of quite shocking and striking to see the red tape and yellow tape. Yeah. And then what I assume to be a forensics unit here. Homeowners in this area are still trying to understand what led to an extensive scene off of Blake Lane and Lee Highway in Fairfax County Saturday night. It's really scary to have something so close in the neighborhood that we live in. Fairfax County police say they responded to a call about about a man found unresponsive. He was later pronounced dead on scene. This quickly turned into a homicide investigation. I hope that the, the family of whoever was lost, uh, you know, they're, they're well and 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 um, comforted. But uh, obviously, with all the police presence here and, and these vehicles, um, my family and I are uh, obviously a little bit insecure of this area. People like Mo Rodriguez are sharing the grim details of what they saw as detectives comb through evidence outside of this office park nearby a trail. I actually saw the body being carried uh, in, in the back of in, into the back of the police van. Neighbors we spoke to expressed concerns about activity going on across the street from the scene at a nearby 7-Eleven. Seems to be um, an area of congregation. We also saw detectives go over there and canvass the area. Meanwhile, people who live here are checking on each other because there's a lot of young kids and families who live on this block. That's why I'm just curious. To, I want to make sure that my neighborhood is safe. Nothing nothing wrong going on around here. It's a very safe area. A lot of kids walking around. There's parks everywhere. And so it seems to be safe. Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.